What's up with you? For today's video, I'm going to be doing some information on Zeru Dada. Now, this Pokemon just came out for Christmas, and I thought I'd show a redemption video on getting it, provide some movesets on it, some information about the event, and I've also included a couple of free one-time use codes throughout the video. So, uh, Zeru Dada was uh, coming out on the 25th, which is actually on Christmas Day, and that was for a Pokemon, uh, the movie Coco, and that was an in-real-life redemption uh, from a theater, which was interesting, uh, from Japan, of course. Uh, Japan always gets those sort of things. Now, uh, the di there's no real difference between the Zerud and the Zerud data. It's just an aesthetic, like a little cape on its back. And yeah, so we're just going to be putting a one-time use code in here. Well, well I just want to say this again because it happens every single time. This is a one-time use code. So if you see a code appear on the screen, right, and it's being used, that means it's being used forever, right? I could only get some of these because, of course, they you know, be quite expensive to get because you actually have to get the uh, cinematic uh, ticket. So I provided some free ones, as many as I could possibly get. And yeah, if you are lucky, I um, hope you enjoyed. And I will be doing, uh, I might do another uh, Pokemon strategy with Zeru data as well, but essentially it's almost exactly the same thing. So I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I wish had something different in it stat wise you know so you want to go to the mystery gift here to redeem it if you do see a code throughout this video and you want to go and uh connect to the internet and type the code in so here's the zerud dada gift and uh yeah i think it looks pretty cool with its uh, little pink cape on the back of it but uh once again i am sort of disappointed that it wasn't really like uh, anything different in its stat wise like maybe they could have made it faster you know it's it's holding a scarf so it could have been faster in its speed so uh there you go there's a zarud and let's have a look at some of the um uh, the actual information about this event. So if you do get one of these and you're wondering if it's legitimate, uh, this is a good uh, source to come back to. Okay, I already can see that's holding a choice scarf, so free choice scarf, which I, I guess is nice. And here we go. So we got the original trainer's jungle, your ID, and uh, just the normal stuff like that. Um, got it in a cherished ball, and it's at level 70. Obviously, this is only on sword and shield you can get this. I know... I hope, I hope you people know that. So we got Jungle Healing Hammer, uh, Power Whip, and Energy Ball. They are the moves. Oh, I got it at Adam and Nature's. That's, uh, that's quite nice there. But of course, uh, you could keep going for that and stuff like that. Now, um, the ribbon it gets is the Wishing Ribbon. And that's pretty much it for the Zeru data, all the stuff about that. Um, I want to show you what it looks like in battle. Then we'll do like a couple of, uh, you know, we can do some move sets around uh, Zeru and see what we can come up with. So uh, Zeru looks exactly the same. It's just like, it's, it's, oh, its cape sort of flaps up behind it, which is, uh, you know, kind of nice. So just giving you guys a little look at it. But yeah, once again, what do you think? Do you reckon it should have had like at least a different stat or something about it? I know that it's an aesthetic, but um, we'll have a look. We'll see. We'll battle this Snom and see what it uh, looks like in a uh, battle anyway. I, I might run through some physical, some special sets, and maybe some support sets for Zarut as well. What does it actually say on the back of that? Does, I'm not sure. Does it actually say something or is it just a symbol? Maybe someone will know that. Is it, is it a number? I'm try just trying to see at the moment. I haven't got my glasses on. Okay, anyway, um, we got the stop going down there to hammer arm. I just thought I'd show you it in battle. So, uh, looking at Zerud, some sets that it's got. Its physical is a lot better than its special attack, too. Even though it does get access to, like, a uh, nasty plot. But, uh, yeah, you want to be using a physical one if you're not using a meme set. Now, I may do a Pokemon sweep with this Zerud data as well. Even though it's the same form, I like I might just see if I can come up with something like different. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so I, I guess I'm not really sure if this event's gonna come out worldwide. I mean it did it Zerud did start to come out worldwide, uh, the normal Zerud, so it possibly could, but it's probably gonna not be like the next year, you know, that sort of thing. And it, once again, it's exactly the same. Just the, it's just the aesthetic with its pink little scarf, right? So uh, for a physical set. Obviously, it's a dark and a grass type, right? So looking at its physical moves, you could probably give it uh, Darkest Lariat would work nicely. Uh, it also gets crunched too, Darkest Lariat having five extra base power. So that could, uh, you know, be a go-to sort of dark type move there. Now, it is a grass type too. So, I mean, it's got quite a good couple of special grass moves, but you could probably go with like Seed Bomb, um, you know, something like that. Um, and if you want to... You could actually make a, like last time I did a growth set, like a, a mix sweep with growth. So you could have a couple of special moves and a physical move. That could also work. It's got the ability Leaf Guard, which is once again, very disappointing. I wish it had a much better, you know, ability than that. And it got some nice special. I quite like a special move set because it's getting nasty plot, which is cool. 
um, which you can get like a like Giga Drain and stuff like that. It gets Energy Ball, and that would work really nicely too. It also gets Drain Punch too for a physical set, so you could actually run something like with Bulk Up and make it like a bulky set with Drain Punch. It's got fairly good bulk to it, um, so you could make like maybe you could run like a like a, a Jungle Healing like Bulk Up set or something like. Also gets. Uh, like rest and stuff as well. So it gets quite a few uh, like healing options. It also gets superpower as well. If you want like a, you could run like a choice bandit set. Um, that could also work as well. It gets rock slide for, uh, you know, any of those pesky bug types being four times weak to bug. I can see that definitely like, uh, you know, working around there as well. I'm um, just having a look at some other stuff. It gets an Iron Tail as well. That would work. I guess Iron Tail you wouldn't really need unless you Dynamax it for a plus one in defense. And yes, I'm just having a look at some more moves that it might get. Close Combat's another one too. They'd probably be the best fighting moves to go for unless you want to drain punch for a sustain. Also gets Acrobatics too. So if you want to increase its speed, you could Dynamax and uh, give it a plus one in speed. That could work too. That's uh, always an option there. Uh, jungle Healing would be nice in doubles. I actually, I'm actually thinking about doing uh, Zerud in doubles. I'm like... Uh, another Zerud sweep, but actually in the doubles there. I've got quite an interesting idea I want to try it for that one. Now, some of the codes, you might have seen a couple of codes come up on the, uh, the screen already. Once again, those codes are one-time use. So, hopefully, I won't see any comments saying, wait, this code's already been used. This is a scam. Like, it's, it's one-time use. So, if someone's used it, that's it, all right? Um, I, I don't know how to explain it any more clearly than that. So, yes, um, if that's pretty much it for the Zerud data. I wish, I wish I could tell you that it was more exciting than that, that it got, like, extra boosted stats. I really think it could get like a, a like a, a like a bolster in its speed stat. I reckon that would be really cool. Um, but you get a free choice scarf and a, a pink scarf around its neck. That <laughs> That's literally it. Oh, I'm trying to think of some other sets you got. You got like a, a like a special set with hyper voice with like throat spray. That could work, I guess. But it's probably outclassed by just a nasty plot set if you wanted to run on something on the special side. Uh, gets like um, also gets substitutes. You might be able to use something with that. Maybe a, a, like a pinch spray and something like that as well. Gets Grass Knot. Uh, you come across like a, a heavy uh, Pokemon that's four times weak there. That could work better. Like uh, most of the time you'd be using uh, like Energy or Giga Drain anyway um, on this uh, type of set. But yeah, I think that's that's going to be pretty much it for uh, today's video. I hope everyone had a uh, Merry Christmas as well. And um, I'm not sure this could be Christmas Day for some people. It's next it's boxing day for me that's the day we call after christmas but maybe i'll get a uh I'll maybe try for a zero data sweep tonight i actually want to try and focus one on double so i want to use jungle healing because jungle healing actually heals um a quarter health of you and your opponent and also heals status as well which is really cool i like that move that's that's cool i just wish they did a little bit uh you know extra something to it's uh you know stats maybe thinking like a like a bulk up set like max health max special friends bulk up then you could have like Drain Punch, Jungle Healing, some other coverage move like, I don't know, like a Dark type move. Maybe, may, maybe Darker Slariot, that could work as well. Or even Crunch, if we can go for a Defense Drop. Uh, something along those lines could work too. And yeah, I'd probably I'd probably run Jungle Healing over Rest, because then I don't have to roll on Sleep Talk. It also gets my favorite healing move as well. That's another one it could use. It also gets Stomping Tantrum too for Fire types. That could be another thing. You could maybe uh, make a move fail and use Stomping Tantrum for double base power. That could be uh, maybe something you want to use on that set too. But I think I've covered all the sets you could possibly run on Zerud. It's it, it's it's not super duper amazing. I, I just wish his move ball was a little bit more amazing. I like Jungle Healing. Like... That's probably my most favorite thing about it, but that apart from that, there's not too much other things about it. It doesn't even learn Sandstorm, so you can't even do the Zerud Sandstorm joke, but uh, yeah, that's it, people. I wish it was uh, a little bit more exciting than the, just having a pink scarf on it. I think there's some other forms of it as well. I, I, I could be wrong there, but I, I swear there were some other forms that will probably just come out this similar way too. All right, people, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I may get another Pokemon sweep up tonight. If not tomorrow, I'm sure I can get another Zerud sweep. It's quite a strong Pokemon. Uh, back with the theme teams. I should be back there. I'm um, thinking I might be able to get like another one done before the end of the year. And then I'll probably take a, a, probably a New Year's break or something like that. And we'll be back into it in 2021. I'll be bringing some other videos back like... Um, some factual videos as well as well, well as my normal Pokemon sweep and theme team content. So hope you are looking forward to that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.